Our today's topic is on a drawing or painting. Describe a drawing painting that you like. You should say, When you first saw this painting, What the painting is about? Who drew painted it? And explain why you like this drawing painting. Introduction Although I like several drawings and paintings, like of Mona Lisa, the girl with pearl earring, Bharat Mata, Radha Krishna, and all that jazz, here I would like to talk about my most favorite painting. The name of the painting is Rangla Punjab. When you first saw this painting, it is a beautiful oil painting on canvas that I first saw at my one of the friend's houses. It's a striking piece that captures the essence of traditional Punjabi culture. It's about a fun dance called Bhagra, and it's painted on a big piece of cloth. About the painting The painting portrays a lively scene of Bhagra dancers in a big, golden field with tall, yellow plants. Bhagra is a vibrant and energetic folk dance from the Punjab region in India and it's often performed during celebrations and harvest festivals. In this artwork, the dancers are dressed in colorful traditional attire, and they're surrounded by tall, golden crops swaying in the breeze. The bright blue sky above adds to the cheerful atmosphere of the painting. This painting can be found in many Punjabi homes because it represents a special part of our culture. It's usually made on a big piece of cloth called canvas, and it's not too heavy, so it can be hung on the wall easily. The painting is wide and colorful, and it makes our homes feel more joyful. It's a way to keep our traditions alive and reminds us of the happiness of Bhagra dancing in our fields. Who drew painted it? This captivating painting was created by a talented local artist named Rajbir Singh. He's known for his ability to capture the spirit and vibrancy of Punjabi culture through his artwork. Why I like it? There are several reasons why I'm drawing to this painting. First and foremost, it reminds me of my own culture and family because growing up in a Punjabi family, I have always been deeply connected to our cultural roots, and Bhagra is a significant part of our heritage. Seeing this painting reminds me of the joyful celebrations and the unity that dance brings to our community. Moreover, the artist did a great job with all the details, making it look real. It's like I can almost hear the beat of the dhol, traditional drum, and feel the energy of the dance. Lastly, it makes me happy and proud of where I come from. When I look at it, I feel like dancing and celebrating with others. It's a special painting to me because it's not just art, it's a piece of my culture and my happiness. Follow up question. 1. What are the differences between painting and drawing? The main disparity between painting and drawing is the way they are created. Painting involves using paints, like watercolors or acrylics, on a canvas or surface to create an artwork with color. Drawing, on the other hand, is typically done with pencils, pens, or charcoal to make pictures using lines and shading. For example, painting might be like using a brush to create a colorful landscape, while drawing could be like sketching a black and white portrait. 2. Why do some people keep a painting for a long time? Some people keep a painting for a long time because it holds special meaning or memories for them. For instance, a family portrait might be cherished for generations because it reminds them of loved ones. Art can also be an investment, 
and people hold on to valuable paintings hoping they will become more valuable over time. 3. How does building style affect people's lives? Building style can affect individuals, lives in various ways. Like, if a building is designed to be eco-friendly, it can reduce energy costs and have a positive impact on the environment. Additionally, the layout of buildings can influence how people interact, work, and live. For instance, well-designed public spaces can promote community and social activities. 4. Should children learn to draw and paint? Why? Yes, kids ought to learn to draw and paint since it helps them express themselves and develop creativity. It's a way for them to communicate their ideas and feelings visually. For example, a child might draw a picture of their favorite animal or a fun adventure they had. 5. How do young people share arts with others? Youngsters often share their art through social media platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. They create and post videos or photos of their artwork to show it to a wide audience. This allows them to connect with others who share their interests and get feedback on their work. 6. Do you think the objects we use daily should be beautifully designed? Yes, definitely. The objects we utilize daily ought to be beautifully designed because good design can enhance our lives. For instance, a well-designed chair is not only comfortable but also adds beauty to a room. Beautifully designed everyday items can bring joy and make our surroundings more pleasant. Thanks for watching. Share and subscribe our channel for more videos.